Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this pretty fuzzy design. I don't know what it represents, but it's pretty cool. And want to know how they can't trace it. It just doesn't trace. A um, couple ways we could think about doing it would be to just trace it with the three-point curve line and go about right out in there and down to there and then just kind of get that line pretty close to it and then go here to there, get that line pretty close to it, go there to there. And you have basically the same shape. Now let's take the Smart Fill tool and let's, well, let's do something other than yellow. Let's do red. So I've got a line somewhere in there in the drawing. Uh, whenever you run into something like that, that it just didn't work, let's look at it in wireframe, see if there's something hidden. Go to view, wireframe. Well, wireframe's not normally a frame, but let's see if we can't. Let's get rid of that gray box. Well, let's go up here, go to object, break the nine objects. Of, hmm. There's some twirl there. Let's delete these lines. And there's our... For, at least for the one I'm doing this for. You can take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in, and then go up to View, Enhanced. Wow, and we did it. There's that shape. Now, what I would do is set my nudge distance on like, well, we don't need 25. That's only less than six inches. I would nudge this out of way, those six inches. I would take a ellipse, and just FYI, I did put it in the center of the page after they sent it to me. Hold down the shift key and, and grab that. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Hold down the shift key and bring it in. And then we can nudge that out of the way. Nudge that out of the way. And we can nudge all this out of the way. Now I'm gonna bring in indexing lines. I, I did count there's eight of them. So let's nudge these all back grab this item I'm gonna have to come off of it control D and make a duplicate double click on the X and move the move the center rotation to the center sometimes that happens when you if you have the duplicate not on the center yet let's see snap to guidelines are on There we go. And uh, eight of them would be 22 and a half. Nope, it must be 45. That's right, 45. Control D, make it 90. My math guru will be happy with that mistake. And there you have it. Now, um, we could do two things. Let's nudge this out of the way and fill that with a yellow with the Smart Fill tool. Nudge the yellow back and then go up to Object, Order, Back a Page. Of course, there's our blue. Let's make them blue. Let's grab them all. And we don't know what that blue is, so what you can do is go to the Smart Fill tool, grab the eyedropper, click on that blue, and then fill that blue in. If I would have done that to start with, and I don't know if I'm using the same yellow. Let's see what yellow this is. It's uh, R255. Huh. It's an R RGB color. I think we're pretty close. Now, saying with that said, with those twirls, let's try this. 
because there's eight of them. Let's, uh, that circle is, let's make a circle that's six inches. And with your ratio lock, you only have to type in one number, hit P. And now let's get a ellipse that's three inches. And let's hit P. And then grab them both and hit L. Now take this one, put it in the center, and rotate it 45 degrees. Well, I didn't make a duplicate. You can always just start over and go 90. No, that's not that shape. Well, let's uh, remember the twirls were in there. So let's get that blue. And we're going to take away the lines, but the lines are still going to always be there. Whoop, took away the color. So I need to right click. You can see the lines are there. You can actually see nodes. So we need to group this together. Let's get the twirl tool. That's way too big. Let's set it, remember at six inches, so let's make it seven. And select your item and then go right to the center. Okay. I think we actually if we go the other direction, you can spin it the other direction. So you have to click on it. Wow. That's pretty much it. That's maybe how the person drew it. Let's, uh, I don't want to take away. And see the, see the lines? I didn't ever notice that when I moved it. Um, let's see what our lines look like. See, it's some sort of, it's a twirl, and this is, well, the lines are gone. But let's take away our lines now. you got to click on an item to take them away. And I don't know if they need that particular size. So that's a 6 inch. Let's go 6.5. Hit P. Let's go Control D holding down the shift key and just bring it in or uh, make it 5.25. And then you remember that we group these blues together so we can nudge them out of the way. And let's take the smart fill tool, fill it in with a yellow. Go ahead and put it to the back of the page, order back of page. And now let's nudge our blue back over. Whoop. A little bit different. I could have twisted it more or less. This has a like a hump where this has a dash. Um, but you see what I mean. I could have twisted it maybe more or less. Anyway, that's pretty cool. And then if you always, if you wanted to make it the same size, that's 5.8. Just grab it all and make it 5.8. I don't know if the size really matters. And then take away the, the lines. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.